What is complex sleep apnea? Sleep disordered breathing, SD, SDB, is an umbrella term for several conditions that together affect millions of people. SDB can be subdivided into two categories which describe the cause of the problem, obstructive and central. Complex sleep apnea is a recently described form of SDB that has features of both obstructive sleep apnea and central sleep apnea. This video focuses on the characteristics, detection, and treatment of complex sleep apnea. To fully understand complex sleep apnea, it is helpful to be familiar with other types of sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA, is caused by repetitive upper airway obstruction during sleep. This type of sleep apnea is often recognized by the bed partner because of the snoring and gasps for air when the upper airway is obstructed. The site of obstruction in most people is between the soft palate and the base of the tongue. As there are no rigid structures in this area such as cartilage or bone, muscles of the tongue, jaw and neck may relax during sleep to a point where the airway collapses and becomes obstructed. When the airway closes, breathing stops and the person must awake slightly to open the airway, often with an audible snort or gasp. The person may not be aware of this awakening, though it may happen hundreds of times a night. Central sleep apnea, or CSA, is caused by a reduced or absent drive to breathe while maintaining an open airway. Unlike OSA, where there is considerable effort to breathe, these patients show no signs of attempts to breathe despite the open airway. Because of this, it is not usually associated with the snore and gasp for breath as in OSA. This also means that it is less likely to be noticed by a bed partner. CSA is common in patients with heart failure, post-stroke, or a brain injury. The brief arousals caused by all forms of OSA and CSA disrupt sleep and reduce time spent in deep stages of sleep, which the body needs in order to rest completely. Once normal breathing is restored, the person falls asleep again only to repeat the cycle throughout the night. Complex sleep apnea is a form of CSA. During the diagnostic sleep study, these patients predominantly have obstructive or mixed apneas. However, when the gold standard therapy, positive airway pressure or PAP is applied during the titration study, central apneic events emerge and often persist. According to the DMERC Region D Supplier Manual, complex sleep apnea is a form of central sleep apnea identified by the persistence or emergence of central apneas or hypopneas upon exposure to a CPAP or bilevel device. With the use of CPAP or bilevel, patients show a pattern of apneas or hypopneas that meet the definition of central sleep apnea. Some central apneas may have been observed during the diagnostic study. But the distinguishing feature of complex sleep apnea is the persistence or emergence of central apneas or hypopneas upon exposure to a CPAP or bilevel device. Although obstructive events are reduced with the emergence of central events, the AHI remains abnormal. Patients with complex sleep apnea usually have incomplete symptomatic response to therapy and are frequently intolerant of CPAP or bilevel. Complex sleep apnea has only recently been described, and there is still plenty to be learned about it. To date, the clinical characteristics that distinguish complex sleep apnea patients from those with OSA prior to treatment are not well defined. However, there are certain PSG characteristics observed upon exposure to PAP, which were well described by Gil Martin in 2005. Before upper airway obstruction is eliminated, Central events are induced or worsened with any pressure increase, which was referred to as the breakpoint phenomenon. The AHI remains abnormal and frequent arousals continue. In contrast to OSA, where the most severe respiratory events occur during REM, complex sleep apnea maintains stability during REM and worsens during non-REM stages. Neither CPAP, bilevel, nor oxygen therapy fully resolve the abnormalities and indeed may make them worse. Normal respiration is controlled in a continuous feedback loop fashion. 
Vascular and central nervous system chemoreceptors monitor the carbon dioxide and oxygen levels in the blood and spinal fluid. These data are processed to determine breathing pattern responses. Nerve traffic that determines appropriate depth and rate of the breathing pattern are sent to direct overall respiratory muscle effort. This respiratory effort results in gas exchange in the lungs, closing the loop in this feedback cycle. In the case of central apnea patients, one or several components of the feedback loop do not operate appropriately. For complex sleep apnea patients, the application of PAP therapy is what initiates the instability and disrupts the delicate balance of the system. There is limited information available about prevalence, but researchers at the Mayo Clinic and Harvard University found in a 2006 study that 15% of patients with SDB have complex sleep apnea. It is clearly more common than has been appreciated and may be an important cause of intolerance with therapy. So it is important that you correctly identify complex sleep apnea patients in your practice.